all have the distinct pleasure to hear from one of our forth-reaching members of our club. Mr. Jeff Shilson is a competent communicator, and he is striving towards advanced leadership prerogatives. Out of the successful club series, he has chosen Evaluate to Motivate. Now this is something we all should pay close attention to on how our evaluations can reach to help the speaker. So please, uh, Tomer, I'm not sure the time limits actually. Jeff, can you help me with those? Stick with 578, it's probably about a 10 minutes each. Green card at five minutes, yellow at six. Red at eight, and welcome. Week after week 
count the week of being in this club. We hear Akhenaut reports and grammarian reports in exacting detail. And that proves that people in this club, as they, as they have participated, have really honed that listening skill. Very good at it. Very absurd. And second, I know when I complete my projects and I get these feedback forms from everybody, I've gotten excellent feedback. People provide me great observations about what I'm doing, how to use my gestures a little bit better. People give me good critical thoughts about how I presented the material and making my speeches better. The folks in this club are good listeners, good observers, good critical thinkers. So when I say that, when it comes to evaluating and motivating, folks in this club have something of value that they can offer to the speakers and giving them the evaluation. There's something that's there that they really need, and you have it to give them. The key then is just to be able to communicate that idea. And that is the next part of just simply putting together a motivational and inspirational speech. It's going to help spur people on to this level, this idea of success. And the first part when it comes to putting together that idea, giving the person a little bit of wisdom, the most important part is what I want to talk about here is preparation. The, you know, the first key component is right here on your, on your notes. Preparation is most important. And of course, we all are encouraged to review the manual objectives ahead of time so we know what the speaker is attempting to work on. But more important than that, take a moment to discuss the objectives with the speaker. Not just get to know what it is they're trying to accomplish, but get to know a little bit about them, why they chose the topic. The point is, if you build a little bit of rapport with that speaker, you get to know them a little bit, know where they are and their desires to communicate with them start to tear down some of the barriers, do you be able to give them that evaluation? They start to see, when you have those conversations, they start to see that you're interested in their success. And then it's also, as you're talking with them, you start to see they want that feedback. They want that feedback. So now we don't have to have that fear that I'm criticizing someone. Talk about the word evaluation. We always talk about that problem. Criticize us. We hate to do that. But instead, we're giving them helpful feedback that they need. Once again, that barrier starts to come. After that, let's do what we do week after week in these meetings. We listen, observe, and take notes. We know the aspects of the speech that are very strong. We know the aspects of the speech that need a little bit of improvement. And then we Work on that critical thinking. We consider the best parts of the speech. Things that we really want to draw out, highlights, that they know those really are some key strengths that you can display today. And also highlight those one or two things. What is it that's going to make the most difference? If you just change this one thing, the small aspect of it perhaps, it would have a great overall impact in your presentation. If you've done just those few things, like I said, first of all, really preparing, developing a bit of reform, and then going about those key skills you need as a developer, listening, observing, critical thinking, and being able to formulate that into a brief summary. If you've done those pieces, you've done 90% of a good evaluation that's needed to be successful. The last part is merely just trying to package that into a motivational speech. That's a little bit more of a skill, but it's not a necessity. You give them, once again, you give them that, you give them something of great value that's really going to motivate them forward. So when it comes to this last part, when it comes to developing this motivation speech, there's a couple of things to consider. Things that we try to keep and incorporate into our club culture so that it's always positive and it's always motivation. So the first are a couple of things to avoid. Make sure you discuss the speech and not try and talk about the speaker themselves or their topic. Every now and then you're going to come across somebody that speaks about something that you might disagree with. And I think that's one of the things I like about our club. We have so many different cultures and ideas. It's, it's interesting every time I come here. I can't wait to hear that speaker. 
But every, like I said, every now and then you might have some difference of opinion. You want to, the idea is not to attack the speaker, but just to discuss the speech on its merits itself. How effective were they at communicating and presenting their opinion and opinions? Next, you want to avoid universal negative phrases. You never, you can't, you failed. You want to avoid those kinds of statements. Very deflating to the speakers themselves. So instead, focus on some positive things. And I thought these were some good points that Toastmasters tried to bring up in this particular module. Try and use words to describe your reactions. Express something from more of an emotional level. I was impressed with it. I was confused about it. I believe that point would have been better if you had done When you express something as an emotion, the listener is going to be more receptive to hearing it. So once again, that barrier comes down to even another notch. That's what we're shooting for. Provide examples when possible. This is great. When you can give somebody something specific, something concrete and they get their hands on, then they know, ah, I can work on it, I can fix that. I know exactly what you're talking about. The other thing is, if they have no idea what you're talking about, they go back to the video right there and say, yes. That is what, what that person observed. I can see it, and now I know what they're talking about. It's a great tool that a club has. Of course, we always want to be authentic. Praise is kind of flattering for a while, but you really have to give a thoughtful challenge to each of the speakers as they come forward. You want to, once again, turn up the heat and keep that success and burning in everybody. Finally, Seek to inspire. This once again goes back to the preparation, developing a little bit of rapport. Sometimes you get to know something about somebody and where they are in their postmaster's journey. And sometimes you can give something, an inspirational statement that really helps motivate them up, pushes them on to tackle that next skill or to take that next opportunity. Maybe it's you know they're working on their iceberg, or you know. They've been struggling to get through some of the project, and finally, they maybe just halfway, you can celebrate that halfway point. And say something that's really going to push them on and inspire them to take the next step. So once again, if we're going to evaluate to motivate and make this a part of our club culture, we need to realize, first of all, that it is crucial. We can't walk over here, pull out one of these elements, and be successful. We've got to turn up the heat on each other. We need to make sure that we aren't fearful of sharing evaluation. It's not criticism. And again, you are all good evaluators. You've seen it, you've seen it. And you have something that is of great value that's going to be helpful to each and every one here in the club. And so, again, the most important part is do that movement preparation. Break down the barriers, establish a little bit of rapport, and it's going to go a long way in, having, in helping you to be able to give what it is that you observe, what it is that you can give to your fellow club members to help them succeed. Do that and we will be and continue to be successful.